Right, if anyone saw my boombox video, uh, you might have noticed that I said I would like to use it in the garage. Uh, but it takes six C-cell batteries. I'm not going to rest it on the front because it's uh, got a, a cassette counter button on there. But it takes six batteries of this size. And for comparison, that is a AA battery. The thing is, these, uh, if you buy rechargeable ones of these, they don't last, oh sorry, they're very expensive compared to rechargeable ones of these. So what I thought is I would buy some of these. And these are 3D printed and not very neat battery adapters. So the plan is, I guess you put it in that way, so there's that's on there and that one's more open so I guess you shove them in there and the pip at the end oh it's not very proud is it because I've got tons of these because we use a lot at Christmas so I always try to buy rechargeable batteries because they're better for the environment and cheaper in the long run and I'm hoping that I can just use these although I think there might be a problem with these. Yeah, that would be fine. So I thought I'd test them. Um, they're very cheap. Um, I'll put a note down below, because I can't remember exactly how much they are, uh, on eBay. And I'll put a link on there, although the link for eBay will probably change. Um, the same goes for um, batteries of this size, which are D-cell. They're quite expensive to buy um, as alkaline batteries, and quite, even more expensive to buy... Uh, for six of these, it's very expensive um, for decent ones. So I'm trying to find all the same batteries. So if you put in lots of batteries in, try and make sure they're all the same. And the same charge levels and everything else. How many have I got? Here we go. Now I do already have some of these from um, JBL. And we've recently been using them in this dusty old... I think it's probably 1990s remote control car and they do work and these AA batteries won't give you as much um, power as a C or a D cell so I'll just get a couple out for the time being so you do have to change them more frequently and uh, these are much better these EBL ones I said JBL but it's EBL um, so these ones, there's a little ridge on your on a typical AA battery, and the ridge, um, there's like a spring clips on there. Sorry, that's out of shot. So you can push them in like that. But I only had four of these, and when I went online to buy another pack of four, I've also got four for adapters for this size as well. Um, they work very well, but they were quite expensive, so I thought I'd go cheap and try these ones out. So. Let's just uh, adjust the camera a little bit. There you go, not very professional, is it? And get something soft to put the uh, put the boombox down on. That will do, can you see? So this is going to be quite difficult. I haven't tried this yet. Uh, and they go in, in this configuration here. So at the bottom, the positive goes at this end. Very hard to get in. Not because of the adapters, I don't think, but because of the, uh, the springs are quite tight. Need a bit of a lever in here. I don't think it would be any worse if I was using um, regular C cell batteries. So yeah, these are 3D printed. They don't have to look nice, but they're cheap. I think I'll take off all these extra bits here so I don't leave them in the device itself. So let's have a look and see whether this is going to work. There we go. 
Now my batteries were probably charged about two or three weeks ago, so they should be good enough. Let me get my demo cassette. Okay, let's pop that in. See if it works. No. Not moving at all. So let's try and figure out why this is. So I've left the cassette in the play position. If I, if I get, do get a good contact on here, it should work. No, so I wonder why that is. Did I put one of them in backwards? Ah, here's the problem. So you can see just here that we've got a single piece of wire which makes contact with the pip, the button on the end of there. So let's just move the camera a little bit. Can you see that? Yeah. And to prevent it making contact, if you put the battery in backwards, there's these two plastic um, guides, so it can't be put in backwards. And I think the problem is, is this pip, let's zoom in a little bit, this bit sticking out the end of the battery doesn't stick out far enough because they've, um, the bat you can't push the battery any further that way. And therefore, that is not making contact with that. It's too flat. So what are we going to do? That's a bit of a fail. Okay, got to get it out there now. Okay, so this is a bit of a fail. Uh, let me get some long nose pliers to take those out because I can't even get hold of them now. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'll take this battery out because this one has been used in that remote control car. And I'll put this one back in because this will be the same charge level as the other ones. And then we'll just see, ah, I see. So that would work, providing that goes into there. So we're going to have the same problem on this one down here. So I'm going to have to take this one out. Yeah, I can't recommend these cheap ones. Gordon Bennett. Yeah, okay, I do not recommend these um, 3D printed ones. Um, it would work for some devices, but if you want them to work in all your devices, I would go ahead and get the uh, the more expensive ones from uh, EBL. I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description for these. Uh, I think what I might do um, is I use Keeper, which is a, an, um, a price. Um, what's the word? It monitors the price and sends you a notification on your phone or by email when uh, the thing you want to buy goes down to the price you want to pay. So you specify what you want to pay. And I use that. So if you ever see um, me saying, oh, it's a good time to buy your AA batteries now, it's because they've gone down to a quite low price. Um, I've got that in backwards, I? So, yeah, that one's in backwards. Yeah, so if I ever recommend buying something just by saying it's a... And the thing is, with the Amazon affiliate thing, you cannot comment on the price so you can't i can't say oh this is usually 10 pounds but now it's only eight pounds you're not allowed to comment on the price when you put your amazon affiliate links online sorry about the noise right so with any luck that ebl one that goes in there will do the job fine and then we've got to put these ones back in here Uh, and we're still not getting any sound out of it, are we?
Oh, there we are. Excellent. So that's playing. So what you've got to do, God knows how much of this is actually on camera. That has got to be poking out just a little bit. And then, so you can see there, it's actually making contact. This is going to be a crappy video. But still, oh no, that's fine. Right, so either get yourself some EBL ones and some crappy ones you can put in, in this configuration. Or you can just go ahead and treat yourself to some decent quality battery spacers for a C size and D size from Amazon or eBay. And then just use these. These will not, these don't have as much power as equivalent. Ah, stop it. These don't have as much power as equivalent um, recycle, uh, rechargeable batteries in this size because they've just not got as much chemistry in them. But these are cheaper and you can just have spare sets. So it's better to buy a dozen of these than half a dozen of rechargeable ones of this size and just change them twice as often. But anyway, that's a not very good video, but hopefully you'll find it informative. So uh, leave a comment if you've got any other ideas on how to save money on batteries. Now I'll be able to take this into the garage. It keeps a couple of batteries in there or take batteries out when I need to use it.